Hello everyone and welcome to Five Foot with a Touch of Class. If you are new to the channel, hi, hello. I'm Miss Harley Days. Uh, I am a pinup model um, and I try, I do a lot of things pinup -y. I am a businesswoman. I am a dance teacher. I am, I am, I am a lot. <laughs> so it's currently Tuesday on the channel. I am shaking really bad on this hand. I'm shaking really bad this morning. Um, <laughs> Uh, so it's currently Tuesday, it's the middle of summer, and me and mom are going to go ahead and go have a temple day, because on Saturday mom took out her own endowments, which in my religion that's a big deal, if you aren't the same religion as me you probably have no idea what I'm talking about, and that's fine, um, it's a big deal, it's an exciting moment, so me and mom are going to go have a temple day today and do all kinds of stuff, and I will see you guys in the next clip. Hey guys, it is Sunday. It is the day after the Rhythm and Bruise Miss Rhythm and Bruise pinup pageant. I did not win anything, <laughs> but I was really excited because it was the first annual ever Rhythm and Bruise pinup pageant hosted by the 928 pinup dolls. So I was very excited to be a part of that, and there was lots of donations made. This being one of the things, and then this was also donated into the gift bags because. At a pinup pageant, all the girls get a like gift bag for participating, and people donate to them. And so, like I donated as well. Um, I donated coupons from the bakery, but like other girls donate other things. And someone donated the cutest little thing. I've always wanted to try one of these. And I heard a weird thing fall. I don't know if you guys heard that, but something fell. <laughs> Anyways. Um, super cute. I love it. There is something in my eye all of a sudden. Okay, which it's fine because I'm getting ready to move my makeup. But I used this for the first time last night when I got home from the pageant. And it was amazing. And it doesn't even take that much to remove makeup. It's like it uses it better. It's like more useful. You don't have to like scrub your face like you usually do with like the little rounds, cotton rounds that I usually use. It's like real quick and easy. So quick and easy. But yeah, there's all kinds of cute stuff. There's jewelry donated. There was um, earrings donated. It's always some of the best stuff. And then when you're done, you just wash it off. And then on to the next piece. Next thing is next. So I like to wash my face off after I remove my makeup. Because my skin feels like it's suffocating for some reason. Don't know if it's supposed to, but mine does. Never have I ever, never have I ever been able to find a makeup remover that does not make me feel like I'm suffocating. <laughs> and that removes as well as Lancome... Uh, Paris. I had to look at it to see what, what brand it was. Now I'm going to go ahead and put on my skincare, nightly skincare. And I like to use uh, the Tree of Life skincare. There's like three different ones in here. And uh, the one, I usually change it up every now and then. Every three days, I will use my Kylie Cosmetic full face of the scrub and the um, oil and the clay mask and everything. I'll do a full face every three days. But then at night before bed, on the days I don't use Kylie Cosmetics, I use one of these. I'm trying to remember what I do yesterday. I did Kylie yesterday. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, Hydrate and Plump. I love this stuff. I got it as a Christmas gift uh, this last Christmas from one of my friends, and I love it so much. It definitely works. And I have really sensitive skin, so I have to be real careful with what I put on my skin for skincare. And this stuff, I've never had a breakout. I love it so much. And then last but not least, another thing I like to do like every three to four days is I like to do whitening strips and I use the Walgreens brand, Extreme Whitening. 
but I'm getting low, y'all. I need to hurry up and buy some more. I, I still got about three weeks because the way I do the whitening strips. Um, but yeah, I need to do some whitening. I just put my whitening teeth strips in, and I will see you all in the next clip, which tomorrow's Monday, so I'll probably see y'all for tomorrow's morning clip. The next clip is going to be something to do with the gym. Um, so in that last clip, it ended up ending because someone else came into the room. So I went ahead and stopped it. But uh, in all honesty, I know on camera I forgot to get the other inner thigh lifts. I did do them. Um, but yeah, someone came in and I worked out for a full hour. I ended up doing some weights after that clip that you guys saw. I did some weight training a little bit. Um, but that's like my main workout I try to do every day when I come to the gym. I try to do that. Uh, yeah, I love, I'll be honest, I love working my booty out. <laughs> I love working it out and trying to make it more toned and beautimous. Uh, but yeah, so it was sped up, but you can slow it down. And if I can, I will try to remember to put in a picture with the workout listed. Hey guys, so my room is messy and I'm in a messy look because I'm going to show you a little project I have been working on for a little while now. Um, it has been a busy week so I've kind of been slacking, but um, it's coming along pretty well. It's not done yet, obviously, but get ready. So this is the first wall that is complete in my bedroom, but I'm currently in the works of repainting my room. Usually I do like all the walls one color and then I go back and do the baseboards and yes, I have to mop the floor. Just ignore that. Um, but I am currently repainting my room to have a more spooky vibe and I put my little skeleton babies back on the shelf now that it's dry. But there is still a whole lot more to do. So I am doing one wall at a time because I have so much stuff in my room that I'm going to have to like maneuver it around as it is. There's some stuff in my mom's room um, that I moved in there until I was done painting. But like I'm gonna have to like move everything inch by inch around the room. So that's why I'm doing one wall at a time so I can push everything up against one wall 
and then push it all up against another wall and then push it again up against this wall and then eventually it'll all be ready to go and done. <laughs> hey guys, it is Wednesday. Me and mom are getting ready to go have a little shopping day together. Gotta get some groceries. Um, but I real quick wanted to show off this look that I have going on. So I have this flower piece that I received from a friend of mine at the temple. She went to Hawaii for vacation and brought back little hair pieces for everyone. And then I'm wearing these earrings. You can barely see them, but they're little ducks that I got as a gift in my bag for competing in the Miss Rhythm and Brews pinup pageant. And then there is someone walking behind me. Okay, I don't know why I get freaked out over that. Anyways, and then I got this dress from an antique shop. Try and show it off the best I can. Um, it is a vintage dress that I just fell in love with and had to get from one of the downtown uh, antique shops. So I feel adorable. Um, didn't do my makeup up as much as usual. I skipped blush and highlighter today, but I did everything else the same. Um, but that's today's look. Hey guys, I'm just chilling in my room waiting for the paint to dry so that I can finish up. But I literally am done except for the baseboard. Then I get to put everything back where it goes and go about my day. I'm literally just watching my tablet. It is a live stream of someone reacting to Marble Hornets, believe it or not. Um, but I'm just hanging out in my room, waiting for the last coat to dry on a different wall. Not this one, obviously, or else I wouldn't be laying up against it. But uh, just waiting for that wall to dry, and then I'm going to tape it up and paint. So, fun story time. I was up till 2 this morning painting my room, rearranging everything, cleaning up, and then I woke up at 6 a.m. and went right back to it. I was going back and forth trying to be quiet because everyone was asleep. I stayed up till 2 in the morning painting and I was watching a bunch of 80s romance movies. Once in a while I go through a phase where I just like to watch romance movies and lately I've been going through a kick of watching 80s romance. Don't know why, um, but I've been binge watching those and painting my room. <laughs> hey guys, I'm aware I look really bad at the moment. Um, I just wanted to record myself because I got these new curlers from Five Below, believe it or not. I'm going to go ahead and show you some because I did not use them all. Um, they're at Five Below. I used these in my hair last night to see how they were going to turn out and I'm excited to take them off camera with you guys here. I'm going to try and do like a more vintage style hair. So let's see how this turns out. I'm nervous. Oh, That turned out very curly, a lot curlier than I expected it to. So for those of you wondering, I do have naturally curly hair. So like, this was just something fun I wanted to do. Oh, the end didn't turn out that well. That's okay. We're gonna fix it. Okay, so this is what I look like with all the curlers out before I do anything to it. Um, I, I'm getting really big time Shirley Temple vibes. Hey guys, so I'm currently in my car getting ready to head into a shop to stuff to load the bakery, and then I got some stuff I need to take to sell. But first, I want to show you the finishing look of my hair and makeup with the dress that I chose to wear. I call this my Dorothy pinup. <laughs> But this is my outfit of the day, and then I'm wearing these musical note earrings, and that is my entire look. Hey guys, it's Sunday, and I'm getting ready to take off to church. There is something in my eye. No, I'm not crying. There's just something in my eye, and it's messing with me. Um, 
But basically, I'm taking off to church. Going to go teach some primary. Waiting on mom. Uh, and then... Yeah! But I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you are not subscribed, please do. Remember, as always, I'm Miss Harley Days. Bye!